on the streets of youtube you hear people say post consistently consistency is key be consistent make sure you're consistent like you hear this thing literally every day and you're threatened because ah I don't have time to be posting video every day. I'm busy with work. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. We're in this thing together. I'm like you. The truth is that consistency is good. But nobody will tell you that posting rubbish consistently is not the key to anywhere. In fact, there's no padlock that that key can open. And when I say rubbish, I don't mean that your content is rubbish. Stay true to this video and I will explain. Hi guys, welcome back to this video. If this is your first time I've seen my feet, hello, my name is Gifts Morgan. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. I am your group partner. I'm here to help us grow. So if you have any question, anything you need, you know, in the comment section, I'm always there to respond to you guys. Thank you for being here once again. And my returning subscribers, mwah, appreciate you so much. Thank you. So the truth is that no matter how you stay consistent on this platform, no matter how long you stay consistent, you will need a viral video to skyrocket. I have experienced viral video. I have also experienced low growth. And I will tell you for a fact that you will need a viral video. Some of these people that tell you post consistently, some of them have a good online presence on Instagram or on TikTok or on Facebook. So when they tell their followers, I have a video on my YouTube channel, their followers are most likely to move and come to watch them you understand so some of them they don't struggle like for someone you already watch on instagram if you see them on youtube you're most likely to subscribe because you already like them from instagram some of these people that's where they come from if you are not famous you don't have any online presence anywhere and you're just starting youtube posting consistent like i know people that have posted consistently for three four years and their channel are still very slow the truth is you will need a viral video or you will need to jump into trends. Now, jumping into trends in your niche, not just trends of random you know, things that are happening, jump into trends of the things that are happening in your niche. Share controversy. Bring up topics that will cause controversy in your niche. Leverage ChatGPT. We underrate these AI tools. Go to ChatGPT and ask them questions of topics that can cause controversy in fashion. Co topics that can come cause controversy in lifestyle vlogs. Ask Google these questions. They will come up with some of some ideas that can help you. For example, now, I know someone that she does cooking. Well, she has been doing this cooking for a long time. How many, how many food, how many egg soup you go cook for this place? How many um, jollof rice recipe you go, you go cook? She understand? So she started that deviating into, you know, unpopular opinions about how you can eat custard and bread just bringing up things still within the food circle but they are causing controversy those videos are bringing her views look for something in your niche and start stir up something that will bring people to your space but make sure that it's in your niche another thing is no matter how consistent you are you have to give value you have to start making tutorial on something for example now i'm doing tutorial on youtube if you are very familiar with instagram you can decide to teach people how instagram works on youtube videos on youtube platform you can decide to teach people how tiktok works on youtube platform you can decide to teach people how facebook works on youtube platform it depends on the platform that you're very familiar with let me tell you the truth youtube likes that you are teaching people youtube you know why because of course they want they like that you're doing this thing that means you're bringing more people on their channel we youtube want all of us to sleep here wake up here eat here in fact they don't want us to go anywhere they just want us to always put our eyes on the screen on the platform so because it makes them money the more people watch your videos the more youtube get money youtube want to promote my content so that them when i make money them too they will get a cut you know youtube have their own um task i pay task if you're if you're earning on this space you pay task so you need to start tutorial on something i'm not saying all of us we are going to be youtube coach or we are going to be instagram coach or anything but whatever thing you you are familiar with some people they teach about tech how to become a virtual assistant how to learn coding how to just teach people something something that you are good at something you do you can do effortlessly teach people you have audience 
they will promote it. Some people they do phone review, skincare products review, you know, all this UGC content. Leverage the YouTube platform and start making videos on that. If you do lifestyle, stop jumping from one market to another, cooking, de -de 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 -de. you are doing this shit. Sometimes, if you go to this market, tell us the benefit in this market. I know someone on YouTube that she goes to different markets, she helps wholesalers to get deals. Like, I'm based in Port Harcourt and I need to buy let's say i want to sell bags i need to buy bags but i'm in portacot and if i want to buy bags i need a supplier from lagos so this girl she goes to lagos market lagos island she makes videos of people that sell bags in lagos island and then share their contacts in her description so for me that i'm in portacot i can go to her description and take that contact and start communicating with those whole wholesalers in lagos island and before you know it we have a rapport and they're able to you know Send me products from Lagos that I can sell here in Port Harcourt. That's adding value. That is giving people value. Stop jumping up and down. I don't, I don't know what else to say, but think about stop, stop doing the regular things. Stop. We're tired of watching you going here, cooking the same thing every day. If you're coming to tell us, get to know me, blah, blah, blah. You're not famous yet now. Like, if I get it, if I, I, I would prefer to get to know famous celebrities or get to know actors and actresses and all, all, all those people that are famous and get to know someone I've not seen before. Who are you? What are you doing? What are you adding to my life? What am I watching? Just get to know you for what? You get like not an insult, but just to tell you that you need to start thinking outside your box, especially lifestyle vloggers. People on this page, people like vlogs. Vlogs, vlog me. I like vlogs too. I like vlogs, but if it's not working for you, think about something else that you can pair with it. Mm. Stop posting consistently. You are posting vlogs every day, and it's, you are seeing you are getting 100 views, 100, 150 views, and it's not going anywhere. That consistency is not enough. I know a girl that does Maronica vlogs. I don't know. Her name is Maronica vlogs. You can go and check her out. She does silent vlogs. Like she doesn't talk to anybody. She doesn't do all these hi guys, hello guys. This I'm um, you know some of you want to start vlog, you now start doing hello guys, hi guys. Today I'm going to the market. I want to go and buy crayfish. I want to buy this, I want to buy that, I want to buy you you will use five minutes and tell us what you want to buy. Then you're not sure us the road. Then you're not sure us the market. She also to, like how does that even how is that even interesting? Do you understand? Marika vlogs like she doesn't talk to anybody, but if you see her, if you see her vlogs, like it's a thing. The the music she puts, the way she arranges her things. Some of you, your life is cut out. I'm sorry, but I'm going to be hitting some news here. Me, I cannot watch someone that is cut out because it will affect my psyche. I like people that are organized. Even if your your life is cut out in real life, eh? When you want to make your videos, try to arrange. That's why people like aesthetic videos. Try to arrange things you're doing. Try to organize it. Just in fact, just for the sake of that video. That is where you, when you hear people say, um, fake it till you make it. Even though that's not how you live your life in the real life, right? Try to arrange your things. Let it be proper. If you want to cook, get a white plate, make it fancy, you know, make it look beautiful and nice to watch. Not you carry one green bowl and put green vegetable inside and begin chaka 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 and moving camera. Just like there's no and you know this angle, you know, the video is coming from this angle, it's coming from up, it's good. Like that is intentionality. That is you putting effort to make sure that your video comes out well. Vloggers. I'm talking to you people because lifestyle vlog life is crazy. You, there are much on this page because that's like the easiest thing people always jump on. But most times people don't do this right. Me, I'm on this table too. I've done vlogs and it didn't work for me. I have to find my, my another thing because I know I've done to YouTube for three years. So at least I, I have basic knowledge of everything that goes on here. So why don't I start telling people what I know? Even though I can't do it, why don't I start telling people to do it? Do you understand? So I'm not saying you should stop vlogging or anything, but think about how to make it sweet. Marenica vlogs, she's a silent vlogger, like she don't talk to anybody. But if you see her arrangements, if you see how she does this aesthetic, if you see her videos, you know where to go. She has about six, 68 something subscribers just by videoing her arrangements, how she go to work, you know, her style. It's just so soothing to watch. You can check her out. I'm not promoting that like she's not my friend or anything, but I just like the way her vlogs come out some of you you do a regular a day in my life you show us when you wake up and prepare 
why not do a day in your life telling us a story you live in nigeria you know a lot of crazy things happening in nigeria you can decide to use a voiceover to share your opinion about some of the things that are happening in the country while your blog is running if you watch mata Hinome, she's an actress like her videos sometimes it's just gist us and be gisting and arranging her house and cooking and it is a very different gist that is like bringing in different things to keep your audience while they are still watching your lifestyle vlog there are people that they are not naturally funny their personality is funny people like tison david i watch her channel a lot she's a lifestyle vlogger and she's been in canada but like her personality is funny she's, she's always like you know bringing one funny thing or the other in the vlog so if you're funny stop trying your face stop being too serious every time you are serious just try to bring it even if you're not funny if you see any joke online you can decide to bring it and share on your blog just something to you know steer up people to be interesting to keep people on your page now another thing you can do is you have any topic you want to talk about because this video it feels like i'm talking to the lifestyle bloggers you know for some of us that are doing tutorials and other topics and all of that if you have any topic you want to talk about come on this youtube space search for that same topic because the funny thing is that there are a lot of people that have also done that thing you want to talk about so you find these people i mean when you research you know that some of the videos you will see are like the top viral videos on that topic so watch like two three videos about those people and watch how they said it how like how they made the video what made it to go viral now this is where you will now understand the strategy that you used and put in your personality in that video i'm not saying you should copy people please oh, don't copy anybody youtube will come for you but put in your personality in a video that had gone viral before put in your own storyline put in your personality if you're funny make it funny if you're an aesthetic person put aesthetics in it if you know you know how to put stock all the stock videos over your um, videos put it if you if you're someone that puts me in between videos put it just look for something to make the video about you personalize it do you understand do you get me <laughs> some of us that have not gotten to 1000 subscribers you know that you need 1000 subscribers and you need 4000 watch hour so 4000 watch hour is like how many minutes so around 40,000 minutes so people have to watch a video for 240,000 minutes for you to be monetized that is why your first i used to say this thing i've said it before in my video your first two three minutes of your video is very important if you watch how i started this video i did not say hi guys hello guys my name is he he he, he. they are talking anyhow tell people why they should watch this video do you understand so your first three minutes of your video will determine whether people will watch it or not that is if you if you put click on it and they stay youtube is most likely to push it far which will help you get more views and in turn give you the watch hours that you need another thing is make your effort and look good where i'm filming this video now my background is different you guys already know like i'm not using my background because my background is not giving like the 100 percent aesthetic that i like but because i was able to like get a fake background it helping me to do something right there are no videos that on how to change background but if you want me to still do it i will do it if you need me to do how to get change your background tell me in the comment section i'll do it but if i not get any comments about it i will not do it but the truth is the lot of videos on that on youtube so what i'm saying is lifestyle vloggers please if you cannot change your like put a aesthetics or anything just try to make sure that your space is neat people like people like to watch business see if you are not famous and you are you don't have money to be going to all these shoplets or hotel to make your video look sweet and all of that and your house is not aesthetically pleasing like that you can always use your arrange your space and make make it interesting all i'm saying is that you should make effort and look good just try to look good there are people that come out and they are sweaty and they are just because they want to get content for the week they are sweating they are looking at i can't watch that person it's not like there's anything but i mean they are trying to be real and all of that but truth is there are people that are not just going to watch because we want we want to watch good things we want to watch interesting things. if i want to waste my data on you give me the business too. 
relate to your audience in a way that they can they can relate like talk to people in a way that they can relate stop sounding like a professional hey guys we can't even hear you you are faking everything be authentic be yourself but be neat communicate well don't come here and be forming I don't know what you're doing. So guys, my phone is about to off or I don't know, my mic is having issues. But anyway, I've come to the end of this video. I hope that this helped you. Consistency without strategy will take you nowhere. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to put in the comment section. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.